a lot of the same cards keep reappearing. And actually, I switched the deck by the time I got to you. Um, I switched the deck because I'm shuffling and shuffling and just consistently the same cards. Well, it's the same energy that's kind of flowing through. And um, even when switching the deck, I'm getting a lot of the same cards. So, you know, coming into the month, for those of you that are working and are diligently um, doing your thing that in getting through some of this chaotic period, work is keeping you sane for those of you who are working and you're apprenticing and you're just doing the job, you're doing the work. Um, whether you're doing it from home or you, it doesn't matter. The point is this is the Eight of Pentacles and it's, um, it's, it's strong here for you for this month of April. Okay, so money projects and career seem to be okay right here so just keep doing what you're doing even if things have been eliminated and taking like dismantled for you this is a good sign to get this card coming into the month because it's it's letting you be able to um figure it out and where it's coming from and you know how you're going to do it and what's involved in it so work for many of you for april could be very good and on the bottom of the deck is this card. And this is the Princess of Cups. And this energy is coming through these offerings. There's a lot of generosity and offerings coming your way. Like a main like opportunity or proposal or something is coming through to you for you. Um, and it's like gifted. So there's a small gift. There's things of that nature coming through from other people and it's emotional and you're feeling the love the commitment the the um what's the word i want for this it's it's like i'm feeling like people are surrounding you in in just offering you good things as we go through right so that's a good thing. You're also coming in with the moon card, you know, and there's a full moon in Libra in April. So I want you guys to really pay attention to that full moon because it's triggering. It's triggering things for you. These moon cycles are very important. And I believe this is a super moon in Libra. Um, so this for you is like it, it, it's rounding out some cycles for you, right? In, in August, I mean, I'm sorry, August. Wow, there must be a reason why I said August. So for you, um, well, because I said that, you know, some of this energy that brings through from April might be, you know, culminating for you around August. So there's a possibility of that. I don't know where that came from. It just kind of came out. So you're going to find that the, the moon is mystery. The moon is um, very mysterious. It's very intuitive. Um, and you're going to feel some stuff with that full moon. It's going to be a potent full moon, and you're going to be very affected by that moon. So, you know, utilize the energy of that moon. If you're feeling tired or with, you know, just feeling that sense of the moon is... Um, could be a really great feeling for you. could be a tiring feeling. Just kind of be aware of what the moon cycle is bringing to you for this full moon. Very important for this month for you because you're coming into the month with that card. Um, there's a lot of opportunities. Like I said, you have the eight of wands. You, you have, you're doubling down with eights here on the board. And eights are about strength and courage and um, integrity. It's, it's the infinity symbol. You know, it's about... Um, structure and stability for you for this month. And this Eight of Wands is like the angels above are sending you, you know, there's, there's arrows, they could be considered arrows of love, arrows of support, projects, work. Um, there is just a lot for you for this month. And I love this because right underneath that, you have the Six of Wands, which is pure potential and fame and um, riding in and doing the work and doing the good job and, um, you know, just mastering the craft, mastering the trade, mastering the energy that's put forth for you for the month of April. Is it tiring? Yes, because you do have the devil in the nine of wands here. So the devil can be associated with the sign of Capricorn. So if there's any Capricorns around you, um, or, you know, friends or family or loved ones, whatever, you know, that is one thing to have that kind of Capricorn energy because it's it's like a dedicated energy. But the devil 
is saying to you right here that you have a lot of um, defense wounds. Like you've been wounded. You've been, you're on guard. You're like ready for whatever this crazy month is going to dish out to you, right? So you're feeling some of that. Um, it could be contained energy where uh, something's holding you down or holding you back. Or it could be too much time at home, you know, too, where you're kind of trying to stand your ground and maybe, you know, drinking too much, eating too much, these overindulgences, it can come through that way also. Um, but you could be, for this month, working with a Capricorn as far as has to do with some stress and worry, maybe around mother, you know, or you as a mother, your mother, things like that are coming through right here. For some of you, not all of you, it's a general reading. But you're feeling some um, definite sadness and healing with the whole month, could be with the whole pandemic, um, but there is some heartbreaking issues that have really been stressing you out maybe this month, where you're on guard, you're doing all the necessary work that you need to do here with plenty of more opportunity coming in. So you really have to pin down what it is that, how it is and what it is that you're going to do and carry that through. You're going to have to really decide on what's the most important and what is can kind of go by the wayside, right? Take care of yourself this month, both physically um, and emotionally, um, because you are working. You're diligent. You're, you know, projecting. You do have a lot of opportunities com to come in, but there are some things you might have to say no on. You might have to really be selective on what you're choosing to take this month. Um, I feel like some sadness and some real losses have taken place where you're feeling very contained, um, very unsure, a little anxious, or maybe there's some depression, which is kind of called, you know, it, it's here for this month. I, I can't erase these cards. That's what's kind of coming through. So, and it's very chaotic. There's a lot of information coming through and it might be overbearing or overburdening you at this point. Like, oh my God, what's next? So for some of you, there could be health conditions where you're working these through. Um, the good thing is <clears throat> with the five of swords, some of the chaos will just be lifted so that it becomes a freedom point. So you're just going to do your thing until that comes about. And it looks like it's heading into May right here in your cards because something might activate for you again. Mother issues, um, you as a mother, issues with that. Maybe handling people who are sick and not well and, you know, the worryment of what's going on out there. I mean, it can, it can unfold as you let it um, just stay grounded. Stay as best centered as you can with this and just don't overdo or overindulge to a point where you kind of don't take care of yourself through it, okay? I guess that's my message for this month. Some of you could be having issues with um, having a tough time maybe sleeping and you're standing God. Just do what's the best that you need to do to nurture you, right? If it's prayer, meditation, if it's eating right or doing a few things a little differently, changing the lifestyle just a bit so that you can um, get some balance with what's going on, right? And, and two, at the same time, you're being offered a lot in this reading. It's like good support and good friends, and even though it's socially disconnected, there are other ways to bring through what's needed, right? So um, just know that there's there's not many money cards down here. So I feel like that part for you is just going to work itself out and be okay. And I just feel as though, again, that full moon is really um, conjuring up some emotional things, some mysteries. Um, it's, an, it's culminating like major things that have been happening for you and major challenges are coming to a point of you got a grip on it. And I like that for Sagittarius for this month. Because the heartbreak and some difficulty with anxiety, stress, and like what's holding you down or back, um, it's you're working on those things, and it's it's all good. Keep keep up the good work. Curious to see what the guidance is for this month. 
So you got elephant spirit, and this is about learning from past mistakes. So the elephant spirit, isn't he beautiful? I just love these cards. Look at how beautiful he is. And I love like that jewel right on his third eye. It's saying to me to say to you that, you know, keep that third eye open. The dream states, if you need rest, get plenty of rest so you have a lot of clarity. Even with globally what's going on, it's just to be open and insightful to what it is. I, I jumped out right out at me as the orange in his trunk right here. That's the sacral chakra. His eyes kind of have an orange amber glow too. So... You know, there is um there is a lot of changes and choices, but you're gonna you're gonna really learn from your past mistakes. So your lifestyle, a lot of things are gonna change after this in this month of April for you. Right? And you're all like saying to me, Oh yeah, Chrissy, bring it on in the nine of wands, bring it on. I got this, you know. So you're making the changes and you're definitely gonna learn from your past. And that's what the guidance is. That's what the animal spirit wants to bring through to you. Really learn from the past for good and for bad. It's all relevant, right? Let's take a look at your energy card. Do it a romance. So this is about rekindling love, emotional love. 33 is a master number. It's open communication, community. Um, and you have plenty of offerings here and support. Um, so that's really good. So door to romance can be about like what's unlocking your heart, you know, to let, you know, love sing kind of in that way. Love is just like around you and supportive and this could be rekindling a love and a romance and this could be just finding, um, you know, love this month. It's about love and romance and play and having a good time and enjoying other people the company of the other right and it's about open communication and and um yeah threes you know the three denotes it's the trinity it's the ascended mastery and the, the soulmate the connections all right for this month a very beautiful for you for this month three plus three is six and uh that's financial stability and strength and security and reciprocity the give and take, the receiving, the giving of energy, the receiving of it. So make sure this month, Sag, that you honor what what you're blessed with and um, you use that those blessings to give out also. You, If you need to bring them to somebody else and help somebody else, you will do that for this month. 